Hey guys, welcome back to another graphic design tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create an amazing batch logo design using Kittel Editor. We're gonna create all these three amazing logo design using very simple techniques. For the first part of our tutorial, uh, we'll create this logo design, we'll understand how to add text to your circular part, we'll understand how to add vectors and bring in some text and how to customize it. Uh, here, we'll understand how to add patterns to your design using the clipping mask option and much more details. In the third design, we have compiled everything, use vectors, shapes, text, Text, gradient and everything and create this third design so it's very simple so let's begin with our designing process so if you're new to Kittle this is the Kittle interface right and you have to create a new account so just go over here and create a new account using your Gmail account okay and after that uh, here you got a collection of templates for t-shirts logos hoodies bags and everything you got some social media templates there are some tools interesting tools for text effect mockups fonts and everything and some AI attributes so it's very handy to create some amazing designs so for now to begin our project what i can do is i'll just create a new project okay so just click on it and this will create a new project this will open this artboard so you have to choose the artboard size standard poster t-shirt all these uh, options are there here you got some social media templates then we got some marketing sizes business for example business card presentation or letterhead and print on demand where you can choose any of these sizes so for now i'll choose this standard size 1200 by 1200 pixel to design our logo and setting the resolution to around this much pixel and create and there we go so we got our new project here this is the new artboard right and uh, if you want to change the background color you can just go over here and choose some black color okay in the same way i have created this artboard right so i'll just go over here okay and these are the logo designs which i have created here so let's look at how to create our first design so this is the first logo we're going to create as you can see we have given some nice background we have added the text in a circular shape and we have added these uh, vector shapes and given some strokes added these vectors and everything so let's see how you can create this in a very simple way so first of all i'll create a new artboard so with selecting this uh, with the alt and option key press i'll just create a duplicate of our background okay place it there and now i'll select everything and just delete this and we'll start our design from scratch so first thing i need the background the batch logo so we got a collection of batches over here you just go over here under elements click on it and you got these shapes here just go down and here you can see these badges option you can just click on show all and there we go we got these collection of badges so let's choose a badge for our design so what i think is i want a design yeah i think this one just click on it and there we go we got that background badge design i'll just scale up the size okay around this much and let's say you want to change this so it's very easy to replace so just go over here and as you can see you got this replace option if i just click on it it will be replaced very easily you want to replace it again you can just go over here and replace it and if you want to replace it to original shape just go over there and replace it and it's very easy there we go now let's change the color to these formats so we want this color to be black and light yellow faded color so selecting that first of all let's choose the color so this one black let's see the color this one we want this to be light yellow this one we want this to be light yellow again and let's see all colors just click on it and we got all these rest of the color let's choose black color for this okay and this one let's choose black color so there we go we got that nice colors now let's type out our text we need to add these texts so what i'll just i'll just press t yeah t for text tool right and just place this around here and let's change the font to b r e w brew h a v e and heaven very simple right after typing that let's increase the surface area and let's change the font so we'll use the font that is we'll go over here and let's choose broke field just click on it and there we go okay let's scale up the size a little bit i'll just reduce the surface area and scale up the size a little bit and there we go let's change the color to light faded yellow color and if you want to see the color code this is the color code we have used e8e2c5 you can use the same color code and i'll place this around here now the next thing we're going to do is to add these in a circular path so it's very simple we have to transform it so we're going to use the transform option over here just go down selecting that text 
just go down and here you can see the transformation just click on plus and there we go we got this these eight effects of transformation you can use this arc rise distort wave flag or circle so we're gonna use this circle let's edge the size so just place it around here right perfectly here and let's edge the size you can increase or decrease the size according to your needs just place it around there okay in the center and just adjust the size if you want to reduce the size of the text you can just go here and reduce the size and you, over here you can see there is a variation option just click on it and you can adjust the thickness width so just increase the width of this text around this much and let's add a gap between the alphabet so I'll just go over here and add a gap around let's say 50 points yeah that's good and let's go over here and adjust the width again around this much and I think this is good next let's add this on the text on the bottom that's coffee shop so I'll just create a duplicate of it and this, it's very simple command or control C to copy and command or control V to paste in front see it has been pasted on top now we'll inverse it or you can just say you want to invert it so here you got this option directional inverted just check this and it will be inverted downward if you uncheck it it will be on the same position just press this and here we go now i'll just change the text so selecting that select all and type c o w -F, f w e coffee s h o p shop and there we go we got that nice text now let's reduce the size so we'll go over here and re reduce the size around this much and you can even change the font so if you want to change the font to something else you can choose red rose and under red rose you can just go over here and make it a bold okay and this one it's capital and let's increase the gap between the alphabets let's increase this to 100 okay enter and you can reduce the size a little bit and there we go now next thing i'm going to do is to add these text so we'll just type out text estd just reduce the area and this will be something like this you can reduce the gap in between the alphabets so just reduce the height from here so reduce the height to zero press enter and there we go we'll create one more duplicate and just type out your ear 2024 and there we go let's reduce the height and selecting these two we'll place it in their respective position let's change the color to again the same color light yellow color okay faded one and place it around here let's reduce the size so just reduce it around this much let's change the font to rose red rose and give it a bold okay in the same way select these or maybe i'll just delete this and use this so let's align this to our main design so selecting these two let's align this so i want to align this to the middle so just click on the middle and there we go we'll create one more duplicate and place it around here and let's type different font for this 2024 and there we go now uh, you can increase the size a little bit okay and place it there there okay and this one i will just increase the size okay so let's go over here and increase the font size around this much and here it is now suppose you want to adjust the uh, size of this text you want to increase the size you can just go down here and over here under transformation you can see this option edit transform just click on it and after that you can just click and drag and this will edge the size so just edge the size according to your requirement and there we go lastly we need to add these vectors okay so let's find that vectors in our element collection just click on it under element just type s t a r star s h a p e shape and press enter and we got a collection of stars over here i like the star just click on it and let's reduce the size and change the color to light yellow faded color scale on the size create under duplicate place it around there in the same way i'll select these two with the alt and option key press create under duplicate and place it there and there we go now let's add these vectors from our center we need a cup a coffee leaf and a nice pattern on the background so let's create that very simple just go over here and type c o double f double e we got a collection of vectors for coffee you can use this bean okay just click on it there we go then we need this leaf just click on it and there we go then we'll go down and add a cup of coffee so i think this one is good just click on it and there we go now let's do the placement properly 
so first thing I need this around here okay scale on the size and place it there now we'll add this leaf just rotate this angle scale down the size a little bit and place it around there yeah very nice create under duplicate with the alt and option key pressed then right click flip horizontally place it around there and there we got that leaf we'll select these two okay align them in the middle and just push it down a little bit and there we go we got that nice leaf something like that you can increase the size a little bit just click and drag and increase it place it around there delete this and just give more rotation to it okay I'll just create one more duplicate right click flip horizontally and place it around there very simple very easy now next thing we need to change the color so what I'll do is I'll just select these okay and let's change the color to our, our faded yellow stone something like that okay there we go uh, we want to remove these details select the shape uh, let's change this to something like faded yellow okay this one to faded yellow or maybe let's change this color to black and we'll add a border so increase the border thickness to around let's say 10 and press enter there we go in the same way we'll select this let's change the color to the same this one we'll change it to black this one we'll change this to the same color and we'll add a nice border with a weight of 10 points and press enter let's do the same for the cup let's change this color to this and after that we'll add a nice border with a point around 10 points and press enter and let's see the design and there it is right you can increase the size of the cup a little bit just click and increase the size a little bit and place it around there okay and lastly let's add these nice backgrounds so it's very simple it's a vector shape I'll just uh, go over here just delete this and under ornaments you can find some amazing vector collections you got these rays just show all and here are some collection of vectors I think I like this one just click on it and there it is just place it in the center and uh, scale up the size and let's reduce the size a little bit around this much yeah in the center and I want to arrange this to the back so I'll just go to layers right let's see over here this is the and I'll just place this on the back yep something like that and there we go we got our first design very simple very easy now let's customize this a little bit just to get this design so what I'll do is I'll just create a duplicate of this and place it around here very simple right and over here what I have done is I have added this nice pattern on the back and the logo this one is a text so let's try to create that what I'll, do, I'll just delete this all okay and let's change the background to black okay so selecting this we'll change the colors we want these black colors to be white so let's change the black color to white okay and uh, we want these uh, stroke colors to be black right and the this edge this edge let's see the color this one and other one is this one so uh, we want this to be white color so let's change this to white okay very simple and after that let's change this uh, text to white color pick white color very simple let's delete these vectors extra vectors okay and let's reduce the size a little bit let's reduce the size around this much place it in the center let's go down here and let's see the colors okay this one okay these are the colors nice these are black colors we'll change this to white and let's do some adjustments we'll change this text color to black okay and there we go now next thing we're gonna do is we want to add this pattern over here so what I'll do is I'll just uh, create a pattern so we'll go to elements and find some patterns so go to shape okay and under shape you see these complex shapes just click on there and you got some nice amazing shapes over here let's choose a shape which will be a kind of parallel pattern here just click on it and there we go we got that nice shape the next we want this shape to be clipped inside the circle so let's create a circle where we can clip this shape so here under shape you can see this option masks so you got a collection of shape max over here I want this circle one okay and I'll just place this around here and let's scale up the size around that much and there we go we got that shape now I'll just place this and just drag and drop it there and there we go we the shape is maxed you can double click inside and just move around if you want to place it something like that 
okay very easy uh, you can just scale up the size and place it accordingly very simple there we go and let's change the color to black okay and there it is next as you can see we want this uh, text design and it's a font very simple font you just have to type your text over here right okay and type b and h okay and after that let's change this font to something else so over here just go to text and here you can see this text just click on it and there it is very simple let's get up the size and let's change the font you can easily change the font say g h okay very simple let's say e c yes in the same way b h we have given that blue heaven and i'll just place this on top of our design scale up the size place it there let's change the color to light color so let's choose that color and there we go let's adjust the size so let's make it a little bit bigger now let's do some adjustments with the color so we got this text over here if you see we have created this in two layer one with light and black another with white and black so let's do that so first thing the color is fine we'll add a border so if i click on this and i add a border it's not going out it's coming inward so it's not working out so we'll go down and we'll go to text shading and we'll choose this block shadow just click on it and instead of giving this 3d depth just keep it to zero and increase the outline width around this much and let's change the color to pure black color and there we go now we'll create a duplicate of this selecting this command control c then command control v and after that we'll uh, remove this stroke thickness right the shading one and we'll add a color so we'll change the colors text color to black and we'll add a border color of white color so let's choose white color and let's increase the thickness and you'll get that interesting look there and there we go if you see over here this is the design we have created and it's very simple you can adjust the thickness using the slider and there we go and lastly we need to add this vectors you can easily add that from our elements so just type coffee okay just click there we go let's change the color so this one white okay and this one black just scale down the size and there we go uh, you can just double click inside and do this placement a little bit upward and i just place this around here scale down the size and we'll add few more stars so just bring some stars from our design very simple and we'll place it there scale down the size a little bit one star there other star there you can choose different shapes as well you can just go there you can go to illustration or the ornaments you can see these effects just click there you can choose any of the effects you can just click there and you can scale down the size a little bit uh, you can place it there okay you can change the color to let's say black create a few more duplicate and there we go we got that interesting logo design in the next part we'll look at how to create sports batch logo design and there we go we have created this amazing logo batch design for coffee using kittle we got some amazing collection of templates for t-shirts logos bags prints hats and also if i click one of it and you can see we got a collection of designs for t-shirts if i click on logos we got a collection of design for logos and each of these designs are easily customizable. The tools are very easy to use, very simple. If you want to check out this platform, I have shared a link in the description and you can use the promo code create and process YT and get 25% discount on all Kittle plans for all new users. Create an account and try out these new tools and options. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.